Hi, this is Theo from Punkablocks.com. Today I'm going to review this tablet that Huion has sent over for this review. This is the new 1060 Plus graphics tablet. I have actually reviewed the earlier model that I borrowed from a friend that is the old 1060 Plus. So this is the new model. Let's open this up and see what's inside. This is a very slim box. Let's turn it over and see what we have. Some general information. These are the specification. There's supposed to be an 8 gig memory somewhere. I don't know whether or not that is on board the tablet or comes in a separate USB drive. I'm going to find that out later. Anyway, the drivers are inside this 8 gig memory. So you can install the drivers from the memory or you can just go to their website to download the drivers to install it. The working area is 10 by 6.25 inches. It supports 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity and resolution is slightly over 5000 lines per inch. Resolution means the accuracy of where your stylus position is. And this report rate is 233 RPS. This report rate means that the graphics tablet is going to send back some signal to determine where your stylus is so at any point in time it will know where your stylus is so the resolution and the report rate works together to give you that accuracy and this is a 10 mm which is a 1 cm reading height so you can actually hover your stylus above the tablet without touching the tablet and the distance of that hovering is about 1 cm Let's open this up. They have a cushion just behind the front cover to protect the tablet. So this is the tablet. There's this uh, cloth here. I think it's to put the pen. I'm going to try that out later. So this tablet has, let's see, 12 shortcut buttons and 16 soft uh, express key buttons here so you have to activate them by using the stylus but here you use your fingers and for this new model i think they are flush more towards the surface also another difference is there are now two indicator lights um, i'll show that to you later on this you still need to connect it to the usb port of your computer so this is the new micro usb port basically the type of port you use to charge your android phones and i think this is probably the 8 gig memory card which is which i can't remove it so that's all about the tablet it has a very smooth um, surface this is let's see glove for the graphics tablet so it comes with a free glove it's a nice goodie and it looks like there is a pack of extra uh, nips. So these are the pen tips. About I think 8 or 9 in them. And this is the manual. Let me put this back here and this two back here. These are the cables. So this is the charging cable for the pen. The pen has battery built in, but it does need to be charged. Oh, okay, this is a new design. Oh, it actually comes with a pen cap now. So older models, they do not have the pen cap. This is uh, quite good. So actually, it's the pen design is actually similar to the earlier pens, but it comes with the pen cap. Comes with two buttons as well. And this part is some sort of a matte surface and this part is more a semi-matte surface. That is the power cable to charge the stylus and this is the pen holder. Comes with replaceable nibs as well. And this is the this is the nib remover, this piece of metal here. So I shall put this here like this and put this here like this so you close it like this and you can put a pen on top and this is the USB cable for the tablet and it plugs in like this so it goes like this 
Now the new design of the cable is much better. Now it's L-shaped so the cable goes uh, to the top. So now I can rest my hands here without interfering with the cable and I can press the physical shortcut buttons here very easily. And this is the pen again. Just now as I was uh, trying to put the cap onto the back of the pen, I wasn't able to do that. So be careful not to lose the cap. So now I'm going to demonstrate um, the performance on some selected software. I'm going to show you some of the settings that the tablet driver is capable of. So after you have installed the driver, you can go to this taskbar here and look for the small icon here. Here you can set the functions to the first and second buttons on the pen itself. There is this uh, slider where you can set the pressure sensitivity of the pen. This checkbox here allows you to indicate whether or not you are using a tablet PC, but I am not very sure what it's supposed to do. Then there is the screen setting. Let's see what this is. Uh, there is no option. Here is the pen pressure test where it opens up an external dialog box where you can test your pen pressure. I have set my pen pressure to be a bit uh, stiffer so that I need to press down a bit harder to get a thicker stroke. This is the advanced setting button and you can set all the different keyboard shortcuts to the physical buttons as well as the soft key buttons right at the top of the tablet. It's very easy to set the keyboard so just choose the physical key that you want from this drop down box and then choose the keyboard shortcut that you want it to assign to. That is all. And then press apply, OK. If you are a left handed user, you can check this box here that indicates left hand. And I think that's about all. You can also set the screen ratio if you want to. I map the whole, basically the whole uh, tablet to the screen. So it's a one to one match. So there's not a lot of settings uh, from the tablet driver, but it's all the very crucial settings. And that's all. And if you want to uninstall the driver for whatever reason, let me show it to you where you can do that. So uh, when you are at this page where you can uninstall all the different apps on your computer, uh, do a search for tablet. And this option here, uninstall tablet dri device driver, this is the one that you should click on to uninstall the Huion tablet. So uh, it doesn't go by the Huion name. I'm going to use Photoshop first. This is Photoshop CS6. If you happen to be using a Windows tablet, you may have this thing called the WinTab driver, you might want to uninstall that because Huion is going to install their own version of the WinTab driver. And if you have two versions of WinTab driver, it's going to cause glitches. So uh, it is best to uninstall the one that you have and use Huion's version. I spent quite a long time troubleshooting what went wrong with my uh, tablet driver and it turns out it was the WinTab driver. So now that I'm using Huion's version, it is fine. Let me um, show you the keyboard shortcuts that I have assigned to the physical buttons. I have assigned this to Control N, which is a which is to create a new file. So once I press it, immediately the dialog box comes up. So I can do this. All right. I have also assigned uh, the buttons here for zooming increasing the brush size, choosing the brush tool and eraser tool and they all work very well. So now let me pick a brush. I'm going to pick a brush and I'll show you the strokes that it can create. So let me show you some thin strokes that transition into thicker strokes. And thick strokes that go to thin and some very quick uh, strokes to let you see how well the lines taper. Let me zoom in for you. Now the lines they do not taper as well compared to Wacom tablets in the sense that um, take a look here when it tapers to this end it cuts down uh, rather abruptly and then you get one thin line like this. 
Wacom tablets, they are much smoother. Um, this is an example probably that is closer to a Wacom tablet, so it's a more gradual taper. But for Huion uh, strokes, I find that they don't taper as smoothly. So, oops, I guess again see some examples here. However, you can actually use a plug-in that is called Lazy Nezumi Pro if you want to have even smoother strokes, smoother tapers. For example, I have um, switched on the plug-in here. And let me try and draw the same strokes again. So now the strokes, they taper much more gradually and they are much closer to the way Wacom tablets, um, the way their strokes taper. So this is much more gradual compared to Huion strokes which have this thin line right at the end. This is the only issue that I face with uh, Photoshop. Other software, they do not have this uh, problem. I do not know why. Now, when it comes to uh, latency, lag, uh, there is no lag whatsoever. The lines, they come out as fast as I put them down onto the tablet. So this is quite good. All right, so let me close Photoshop and move on to Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator, they have their brush tool that also um, can use pen pressure. So I'm going to create a new file and pick a brush here and see whether or not I can create. Oops, where's my brush? Let me change the settings first. So right here, I can say that I want to adjust the size based on pressure and I want as much variation as possible. So let me click OK and do the same example again. Thin to thick and thick to thin. So strokes are very smooth on Adobe Illustrator no issues at all let me close this and switch to the next software this is Mischief this is a very nice software it seems like Mischief has no problems at all it can detect pen pressure as well and the strokes they are very smooth let me try some quick hatching marks the strokes they taper very well in Mischief too. I think this software they use some sort of uh, software correction to make your curves even smoother even um, taper even more uh, gradually so this is a very nice sketching software Close this and move on to Midibank Paint Pro. Midibank Paint Pro is a free drawing application which has a lot of features dedicated to drawing manga. I really like this um, software, it's very good. And the uh, main attraction is it has so much features and it's free. So it's I really highly, highly recommend this. This is Mischief, I mean, sorry, this is Midibank Paint Pro. Again, I'm going to do the same sort of test. Pen pressure works well too. And the lines are very responsive. This is version 10 of Medibank Paint Pro. Let me show you the strokes. They taper quite nicely as well. Very, very nice. I, whenever I post um, reviews of tablets like this, there will be people who want to see how it performs on software like Kritar or paint 2 side. I'm actually not too familiar with paint 2 side, but I guess you can use it. So. Paint to side supports pressure as well. So these are the light strokes and these are the thick strokes. And this is the transition you can get. 
a very smooth transition. No problems with pin to side. Next is Kritar. This is version 3.0.1.1. So let me see. This is an opacity brush. This transition is very nice and it supports pen pressure too. No lag whatsoever. I'll close this. And this is Wacom Bamboo Paper. This is actually uh, an app developed for tablets. So it can support Huion tablets as well and it works quite well you can I mean it works with pen pressure so you get thin and thick lines even though the variation is quite limited so this is Wacom bamboo paper if you happen to be using sketchbook well this tablet works fine on sketchbook too so with sketchbook again pen pressure works very well the transition is very smooth um, I think there is some problem with the tapering effect again this is a uh, well all right let me sh zoom in closer for you to see so here you can see that it tapers quite sharply and you get that thin line again just like you would in Adobe Photoshop Creon is a very aggressive company at pushing out new tablet products at affordable prices to compete with Wacom and with the new Huion 1060 Plus I think they have a very good product here the only issue that I have with this is um, in Photoshop and Sketchbook for thick tapering strokes they, they don't taper that gradually they are not very nice so if you are an artist who likes to cross hatch a lot with thick lines then this might not be the tablet for you but just now I've also shown you a workaround which involves installing the plugin called Lazy Nezumi Pro Lazy Nezumi Pro is not free but if you do buy it I think it's a very useful plugin because it can smoothen out all the curves and it makes your strokes even more gradual when it comes to transition when it comes to tapering it's a really good plugin um, with all the other software there's no problem with this tablet I did not show you any demonstrations on the Mac because this tablet works perfectly on the Mac so um, I don't want to waste extra time on that that's all for my review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below I will also post a link to the text review for this tablet in case there are any updates you can find them there and if you want to buy this tablet, you can do so through the Amazon affiliate links on my text review to support my YouTube channel and my blog. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.